Adidas got into them, got into some hot water because apparently they had to apologize to Bella Hadid and partners over mistake with the SL72 sneaker campaign. Mm -hmm. So essentially, they put out a sneaker mm -hmm. and they got Bella Hadid to, to push it because she's this world model and everything. Mm -hmm. and but then pronouncing this woman's name correctly. Yes, Bella Hadid. Bella Hadid. 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 Yeah. Hadid. 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 Is H A D D I D it's Hadid. Bella not e -E -D. Hadid. It's Bella Hadid and she has a sister called Gigi Hadid. Mm. Hadid. Right. It's pronounced Hadid. Um, yeah. It, like you said fast. Hadid. 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 Right. Yeah. So it says Adidas has issued an apology amid criticism regarding this LS seventy two sneaker campaign, which has been linked to the tragic events of the nineteen seventy two Munich Olympics. The German sportswear company expressed regret in a statement that specifically addressed concerns raised by the model and other prominent campaign partners. Essentially what happened, that 1972 Olympics was tragic because there was um, the, there was a Palestinian outlayer, like a uh, terrorist part of that um, mm -hmm. group who held some persons from the Jewish contingency and people died. They held them um, hostage yeah. and they were threatening to kill them. And they, they didn't get like, yeah. planed out and, and they, they still killed them. Yeah, they killed yeah. them. They still so, killed them. So, mm -hmm. and, Adidas mm -hmm. got Bella, who is Palestinian, to push this thing, celebrating that year. Somebody in the boardroom totally forget what happened that year. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yikes! To, in all fairness, mm -hmm. they had a very popular shoe from the 1970, mm -hmm. two years before, mm -hmm. okay. right? And this particular product was to pay homage to that. Yeah, I guess somebody didn't do their homework. No. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, yeah. it, it, it's an accident, really and truly. I mean, I mean, th listen, there's, there's been so much in terms of since the whole Me Too movement, everything, everything has been so, you know, you have to look at everything under a microscope right now. Mm -hmm. And with this heavy sense of sensitivity training. And you have to. Really they don't want to doing point um, diversity officers and so now. Virgin, let me tell you, right? Let me tell you, yes. right now, they said they said that you know this this thing goes so far. Britney Spears had a song that was produced by the Neptunes that came out a couple of, back in the nineties or the two, early two thousand called um, "I'm a Slave for You." So it was in two early arts, right? They said that if Britney Spears was to drop that that song right now, the kind of uproar and mm -hmm. outrage yeah. it would cause. Yeah. All right, that if she was to go to, on tour right now, she wouldn't add it to her to her um, playlist, right? And it's just it, it always and it's it's so um, even when the whole you know when the you know what happening with Palestine with the Palestinians and everything and this war that's going on right now, you know even people have been talking about about you know the two the, the most famous Palestinian <laughs> DJ Khaled, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he's and, been very quiet. And the most famous um, Jewish person, Drake, Drake. he hasn't been saying they didn't say anything. A thing. Mm -hmm. Neither of them has said anything no. about this. This war. why should they? And I, they I, don't have I, to. I also said the same thing too. They don't have my to. thing is right. If okay, people saying well, you know, it shows this level of um, opulence, or, or you know, you're so far away from it because you're rich and, and everything that you're not going to want to talk about it. But then my thought, my thought, thought process behind of it is that why muddy the waters more? And why would you say anything about it? When your family, not to say that your family isn't being affected, but then your influence being as it is, why are you going to even want to say anything? They're you don't, they're, they're, you don't know what these guys going they're, through. They're the, accused on Taylor Swift of the same thing, not saying anything. What these guys are doing? Yeah. So, back, back so, so what this? Mm -hmm. This is essentially what you're telling me now, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So... Most of us, majority of us, do not know anything of what's going on in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. Besides, one party vexed with another party, and it's been that way for hundreds of years, right. thousands of years, right? Mm -hmm. That's all we know. Mm -hmm. Now, you're trying to tell me that the moment I get famous, mm -hmm. that I'm supposed to start doing dedicated history lessons now in the event that something will pop off, and I as a famous, rich person mm -hmm. from that particular heritage or background must now go and speak on it, right? Mm -hmm. The second thing is, you also know fully well <laughs> that this particular situation mm -hmm. and many other situations like it mm -hmm. 
are so delicate that any comment that comes out of my mouth has the ability to destroy what I have, the legacy that I've built for myself and my earnings and future earnings mm -hmm. ad infinitum. Mm -hmm. And you want me open for me mouth and talk <laughs> to <laughs> risk <laughs> millions? <laughs> How about you talk? Mm. And nah, that and that is that. nonsense. And not only that, we also have to understand, right, as much as these people have this, 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 this type of platform, what they say may result in somebody doing something really yeah. crazy. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Some people take things to that level, mm -hmm. to that extreme. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't want that I wouldn't have I wouldn't want to have that type of responsibility on me to be saying stuff that is gonna affect somebody. Speaking about that crazy. and Olympics again, tying it back to sports. Mm -hmm. Ronaldo came in to a studio to have an interview. And they had something by him like a soda. And he moved it away and grabbed the wall and said, no. He moved the Coca-Cola yes. away and put it on the And, and he said, water. no, water. And that Coke, stocks fell. Coke stocks fell. By I think they lost a billion dollars. 2.2 that, 2 billion. But that one action. They didn't him. No, but no. that one action. But, 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 I mean, crazy. What is that? What does that really I say mean, about yes. us? But, but, there's another Influence point that power. there's another point I wanted to bring in that is part of the original um, thing, right? Mm. That I just find to be kind of absurd. Okay. Do are we basically saying no, right? That companies and possibly individuals, whenever they're producing something or want to reference something or moment in time or whatever, that they have to yes. literally yes. ask themselves yes. what based nonsense, what 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 derogatory thing, what what evil, what badness yes. went on yes. that no, year. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, we are there now. But Glenn. here's here's the thing, Colin. That's a every year. No, well, no, no, no. no. What do you mean no? No, no. it's no. it's basically like no. this. It's not even about what. It's not about fact checking to see what happened it in a is. particular year. You know what it is? It it's is. which group you're going to be offending. No, um, Nike. It is offensive. because watch here, watch here, watch here. You know how deep people just go to find the the tiniest little thing mm -hmm. and blow it up big and say, okay, this this sound, this is something, this is another thing. You you probably just say, okay, you know what? Let me do a call back to. 1921 June 2nd mm -hmm. right and do something about that and somebody will say a baker ran his wagon over 14 puppies that day you know how dare you no I mean about you that know, Glenn. Glenn, I mean about no, that no, that is no, what, no that's no, what it no, feels no, like no, 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 it feels no, 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 that no, way but no, no, no. but you, but you, it's you, a specific event. It's a specific you event. You have to do your research. And as Adidas you said, had a shoe that may sell great. It mm -hmm. is an iconic shoe for them. It mm -hmm. came out in the 1970s. Okay. Right? They are doing a tribute to that. So why right? you use a Palestinian oh, model? Oh, why oh, you oh, use a Palestinian oh, model? Oh, 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 the girl not hot? She's hot, but they have yeah, others. They have others. Yeah, they have, they have others. Yeah. The kid, from what I'm seeing here, right? The issue is not the fact that the girl is Palestinian. You know? It is. It is. It is. That's not how what I read in the article. It the is. issue that's was that the massacre went down in 1972. And who killed the people and them? Palestinians. Come on, Glenn. If listen, if I the rest of the people and them, the rest of the people and them, right? That mm -hmm. were part of this this um this ad that they're doing, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Them then a Palestinian. No. no, but she but is. she's the face. And she's the face. Glenn, if I'm a company, look, let me tell you. Look, let me give you an example. If I'm a company and I want you to do marketing for me, one mm -hmm. of the reasons they study marketing as a degree up to PhD level mm -hmm. is for you to be cognizant of all of these things and who and, you, you, and who you're going to be affected. You you remember I talked about KFC last week. No, I changed the recipe. And and the tent, a lot of marketing strategy. Forget the masses has to do with timing and context. Gotcha. You can't throw those out the window. Somebody didn't do a proper timing and context study on what they were doing. Yeah, it's just like it's when, just it's just what it is. It's just like when um, you have to be so sensitive because I remember um, a couple of years ago Nike had done a shoe, 
and they had called it the Chinese New New Year shoe, right? Mm -hmm. Now, when they were dropping it, it was not Chinese or on Chinese New Year, and the images that they had in it, it didn't tie back to the animal, right? Let's just say it was a Yeti dragon. Mm -hmm. They had pictures of all these different things. So then the Chinese um, community started throwing back at them, backlash and saying, okay, one, it's disrespectful. They're not dropping the Chinese New Year shoe mm -hmm. around the month when it is Chinese New Year. And two, you're totally disregarding our calendar by giving me images of peacocks and these different things and putting them on a bunch of imagery when it's literally the year to write. You know I, I, what I mean? Yeah, I said it before we go to the break. Uh, Kendrick had his concert in Juneteenth, didn't he? Yes, he yes. did. And he, part of the concert, the sound that was so big, was he wasn't telling a certain person that since you're calling me, we the slaves and so on. Right. So the timing of everything. It was perfect. Okay, thank you. It was perfect. Let's go to the break and be back after these messages. <laughs> 